Good day and welcome to the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you in preparing for the private pilot check ride in under 5 minutes a day for free. Today's video covers Aviation Routine Weather Reports, or METARs, and Special Weather Reports, or SPECIES. The METAR provides surface observation for aviation purposes specifically in the terminal area. The observation may be provided manually by a human weather observer certified by the National Weather Service or FAA. It may also be provided automatically. The two most common automated systems are the Automated Surface Observing System, or ASOS, and the Automated Weather Observing System, or AWOS. These systems report weather conditions in the vicinity of the tower. The Automated Terminal Information System, or ATIS, typically seen at towered airports, requires oversight of a human. When tower closes, the ATIS will likely revert to ASOS or AWOS. Provided is an example of a METAR. In this example, we have the type of report, airport identifier, date and time of observation, in this case the fourth day of the month at 1655 Zulu, or coordinated universal time, otherwise known as UTC time. Whether or not the METAR is automated, in this case it is, Wind direction is coded as the three-digit true heading followed by up to three digits of wind speed. In our example, we have a 10-knot wind blowing from the west to the east, gusting to a maximum of 2-4 knots. Variable winds below 6 knots, for example 3 knots, are reported as a VRB at 0-3 knots. Winds above 6 knots and varying more than 60 degrees would be coded heading 270, 10-knot winds varying 240 to 300. Calm wind is coded as quadruple zero knots. Visibility, defined as the greatest horizontal distance at which objects can be identified, is reported in statute miles, in this case, one and a half statute miles. Weather phenomena is reported in this format, found in AC0045 Hotel or Aviation Weather Services. It includes precipitation, such as rain or drizzle, obscuration, such as fog, and unusual weather, such as tornadoes and sandstorms. In our example, we have mist and heavy snow at the airport. Light snow would be reported with a minus sign instead of a plus sign, and moderate snow would have no prefix. Sky condition is coded as the three-digit cloud coverage, clear, few, scattered, broken, or overcast, followed by the three-digit height of the cloud base in hundreds of feet. This may be followed by CB for cumulonimbus clouds, or TCU for towering cumulus clouds. In this example, we have a scattered layer at 1,500 feet and an overcast ceiling with bases at 2,500 feet. Cloud heights are reported AGL, or above ground level. Temperature and dew point are listed as two-digit temperature in Celsius slash two-digit dew point in Celsius. A negative value is preceded by a capital M. In our example, we have a temperature of seven degrees Celsius and a dew point of negative one degrees Celsius. Lastly, we have our altimeter setting presented in inches of mercury. In our example, we have two niner point niner seven inches of mercury. These items comprise what's known as the body of the METAR. A remark section, normally in coded language as well, follows to supplement the body. The contents of the remark section vary with reporting station. Commonly seen remarks are as follows. Type of station, AO2 stations have precipitation discrimination capability, as opposed to AO1 which does not. Precipitation at an AO1 station would be reported as unknown precipitation, coded uniform PAPA. Sea level pressure measured in millibars is different from altimeter setting in that it is the pressure of the atmosphere at sea level directly measured, whereas altimeter setting is defined as the pressure of the atmosphere used to adjust the altimeter to indicate the correct altitude of the aircraft. 1,113 millibars, or hectopascals, equals 29.92 inches of mercury. To decode the sea level pressure, simply put a 10 in front of the value and then divide by 10, or in other words, add a decimal point in front of the last digit. In our example, we have 1013.2 millibars. Hourly temperature and dew point identified by the T is broken down as follows. We will divide the eight digits up into two groups of four. The first digit of both groups will either be a zero or a one. A zero depicts a positive number, while a one is a negative number. The following three digits are the tens, ones, and tenths of temperature in Celsius. In our example, the temperature is positive 6.8 degrees Celsius, while the dew point is negative 1.2 degrees Celsius. A few other commonly seen ones are the 6-hour maximum temperature, depicted by a 1, 
six hour minimum temperature depicted by a two, and the three hour pressure tendency depicted by a five. According to AC0045 Hotel, these groups should have no direct impact on the aviation community and therefore will not be discussed further. Additional remarks can be reviewed in Advisory Circular 0045 Hotel. Moving on to Special Weather Reports, or SPECIES, a SPECI will be issued for a number of items on Table 3-1 of Advisory Circular 00-45 Hotel. These items range from wind shifts to deteriorating visibility and sky conditions, to tornadoes, volcanic ash, and aircraft mishaps. SPECIES are presented in the same format as METARs. This concludes today's discussion of METARs and SPECIES. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you may like, leave some feedback, subscribe, or share it. Thanks again and safe flying.